So I think our main agenda is to prepare for another meeting with Julia, yes? Right. Yeah. Um, and to tell her why we liked the three, one thing is to tell her why we liked the three things that we said, three pages that we said we liked. So shall we just, shall we look at them quickly? And then- Sure. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I'm just gonna try to share the links and now I have to look at my notes and see which ones we said. Okay, one is Urban Archive. Okay. Wow, those are different tags than we saw the last time we looked at this, aren't they? Yeah, they change them periodically. Um, so what, oops, wait, what am I doing? It's the living <laughs> system, it's like you're zooming. I'm learning that you can adjust the size. <laughs> no. So what did we like about this? Oh. It's, I'm still trying to figure out how to get at the thing. Um, it, it's, correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like we need to contact the Urban Archive people and have them cooperate with us in putting something together. Um, I could be wrong about that, but. I think you're right. And, and somehow after we met last time, I went in and discovered that it isn't all enormous cities that they had Newburgh, New York and Ogden, Utah, although Ogden, Utah has 88,000 residents. It's not Waitley. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think we can say now that, you know, I, I'm not advocating this. I think we can say we don't like it <laughs> now that we're looking at it again. I think, I think one of the things we liked about it was the presentation of this map. Yeah. yeah. And even though we agree, this is of course way more urban and it, and complicated and things are on top of each other that we like that presentation graphically. Right. And we looked at how they've color coded. Right. Areas, I think, even though it's very subtle. Right, I'm not. Yeah, the look of it was pretty good. And it seems to be free, but it does seem to require some cooperation from their part, which might not hurt us. Um, so I, we didn't look at this. See, this is all content. We didn't look at yeah. these other images. Can you, can you see this? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I've looked at some of that. Um, yeah, I hadn't looked at it. it. This is my great grandmother. That's pretty cute. Yeah. Well, that's not her. Oh, that's, see, that's interesting. That is not my great grandmother. <laughs> that is not anybody's great grandmother. Well, how come I took you to Henry Street? Okay. I don't know. Do, it again. Do the colored school. Let's see what that's my great grandfather. Ah. Uh, oh, yes, the, the colored school. That's interesting, isn't it? Honey, it, it, it's funny, it changed colors. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Okay, so we kind of like those links. Then there's an audio link. Yeah. I won't, I don't, unless either of you want to listen to an audio, I believe that it links to audios. <laughs> right, right, right. Lists and stories. They got there their Father's Day thing there. Huh, yep. Yeah, it seems good at linking um, places and video and audio and photos and all the rest of it to a right, specific right, right. place. Right, that, that, that seems good. So it links to multiple media. And Alan, I'm inclined to think that we're so exploratory that we don't actually have to worry about what the cost is right now. We're just having a conversation about what we like and what we don't like. Yeah. I think. 
Well, I mean, cost matters because we don't have much. Well, money. I mean, it will make it will matter, but I don't know if we have to factor that in. Which is, I think reason, you should start with with what you like the most, and then you know if that proves too expensive, then we we figure out how to cut right. back. Right. So I I do like I I like this drop down for the different links. Yeah. And yeah. somehow I figured out. I've got I've got the three of us. Oh, change city. Okay, I'm just going. to... Oh yeah. Holly, Columbia. Cool. Yep. <laughs> well, that would. Do Newburgh. They All right, us. Ogden. I don't care. Yeah. Do Newburgh, whatever. Yeah, which is somewhere in upstate New York. Um, so there are fewer buttons, but it's the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they have very few things compared, obviously, to Manhattan posts. But not compared to us. No, that was my point. <laughs> that, it <doesn't> look, <laughs> it does, that it doesn't look awful, I don't think, having three stories. Or maybe it's, let's see, let's see what the archive is. So somebody or somebody, some group of people are maintaining an active posting system, right? Huh, yep. I, I remember, Allison, that when you and I first met, I think you were trying to help the library use its social media effectively. Or at all. Or, or, or at all. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm still at, could we have the homepage legible and without misspellings? And right, we never got past the proper use of apostrophes. We right. haven't started we're, spelling, we're spelling Waitley yeah, correct. Spelling, spelling's not important at a library either. Right, right. So anyway, you, but you were talking about things like, this, you know, sort of having different people different people and entities feed in interesting information. Well, I was talking about trying to start, trying to, re well, trying to have a pulse because they're caught in a vicious circle of, they don't do anything. So they have nothing to talk about. So nobody hears about them. So they get no support. So they can't do anything. So there's right. nothing to talk about. So, you know, and around and around. And that if they want to have a Facebook page, they need to have something to say. Yeah. Yeah. Except open for browsing, 665-2170. Right, without the days and the hours. Or, right. Or <laughs> any, any, any other. Some of our issue, too, is figuring out what we want to do. Right. <laughs> Right. right, but we, we actually have lots of ideas. We actually we have, have ideas. too many ideas that we can handle and agree Right. Anyway, we, need yeah. a we want to make an effort. That's the difference. Yes, I, I think that is true. So the main we thing to like, be embarrassed to not make an effort. That's <laughs> also the difference. If only among ourselves. <laughs> There's no shame over there. None. We're, we'll be humiliated in front of Judy and Susan. Um, right. So the main things we like about Urban Image are the graphic presentation and the fact that it's a really easy link to different media. You right, know. and that's that's all yeah. we need, I think, to get started. Right. Okay. So let's go on to number two. <laughs> in the if I can remember how to go back to the link. Okay. Let's see. All right. How did I? What did I do with my email? I'm sorry. <sighs> It'd be hiding there somewhere. It's, it's next to your estate plan. Well, it was yeah. just oral. The estate plans were just oral. <laughs> well, I, although I guess they were recorded. Um, yeah. So I'm sorry. Why can I not figure this out? Maybe I can. Here we go. There it is. Okay. 
So the next one was the Main Street Museum. And there it okay. is. Okay. Now. Well, I know, I know, I know. Sorry, go ahead. No, where did the, was this a, a WordPress site or was it story? A, one Juliet made. Juliet worked on this. Yeah. So it's, which is why one reason we were interested in it. Right. It's on, I think it's on openstreetmap.org. The maps are. I'm not sure about the. Right. The okay. Stuff. So we need to ask about this one if we're interested in it. Yeah. It wasn't our interest in uh, in part because this is in this obviously an historic map with well, and, contemporary. And it has the, ah. the easy click back and forth between the historic map and the present day map. Yeah. Hmm. I suppose a question would be, could it have multiple map layers? They chose to have two because it's about a particular- um, yeah, A particular trip. trip. So, yeah. yeah. Do, the, do the click back and forth thing again. So, so you can see these presumably linked to something, hmm. to an entry. Yeah. See where it is today what it looks like today, what it looked like then. But, I yeah. wonder how they got that to line up so well. They must have done some work to make that, because because the, the root, the dotted line root does not appear to change form. Right. But I, I bet a hundred bucks those maps don't really line up. That's interesting. Yeah. You'd have to. Because with Google Earth and, and Google they, Maps they have lately either. historical stuff built into them. The sun conforming that that already goes on. Um, well, do we- I'm Trying to figure out how to make that work, but- But do we like the idea? Yeah, I like the little, little stories that are attached to places on the map. Oh, I, I, I'm actually be... on the, specifically asking about yeah. the switching back and forth. I, no, I mean-, I, mean I, I Do do you yeah. guys see a use for that? Well- um, in, Some broad so, use for that? We're gonna draw a- a current map, you know, in a way that we right. can stuff into it. Yeah. So something like the gin distillery, which was somewhere near Marianne Simon's house, the intersection of Westbrook and Chestnut Plain, you know, somewhere in that half mile square. Um, it would certainly be interesting to see that pinned on the current map. I guess the question is, would it be interesting to see it pinned on an historic map? Which, what? Well, and I don't. No, there's a whole lot of them. Are there any that it might appear on? No, I don't, I don't see why that would be necessarily useful. Yes, yes, you could do it, but what is it you're, what is it you're revealing by showing where it was on the historic map? It's the same. Right. I mean, unless. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, part of, for me, part of the attraction of the historic map is I like historic maps. I like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but but if, if that's not an argument, right? Right. You know, it it would where where it might be more useful is if you were telling the story of the Westbrook privileges upstream that are now under the reservoir. Right. There's a place that has yeah. changed. Right. And you can't, unless you've got a scuba gear, you can't visit, you know, some of these sites. Right. But, but I don't know that that can't be shown as just an illustration as part of your story, you know? Right, exactly, that could be shown. You don't shown. need to click back and forth. I think, I think. Right. Uh, I agree that you could, mm -hmm. on the previous program, you could show what you're describing by having one of the click-through images be uh, a, a comparison of the two maps or something like that. Or, or a, a modern topo map and an older topo map or a, right, you know, right. that kind of thing, yeah. 
Okay, so if we if if we're not hypnotized by the switching back and forth for different maps, what did we like about this website? <laughs> Well, I like the little stories that come up with locations, and that's kind of my little descriptions. You didn't like the scrolling down to read the story. I, I hate the scrolling down. Yeah. I mean, this one isn't bad because you're scrolling half a line, but number one, if I can find number one, the starting point was, south. Uh, yeah, it must be south. Of course, I can't figure out how to make it go south right now. Um, I'll try number two. Oh, here's number one. There you go. Yeah, I mean, you really have to move it. I yeah. just, I, I, I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this also links to the journal page for that right. piece of the geography, mm -hmm. which is interesting. But I, again, I don't see that we, that's the primary device that we need for our stuff. Okay. So I, if there's nothing else that we really, love about this website, I think we can take it off the list. I mean, I like things like that the print is really legible, <laughs> you know, but that's presumably yeah. we, can, we can make sure that happens. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. And we probably, before we choose, I'm just thinking ahead, before we choose a particular uh, medium, or site, we should probably, I haven't looked at any of these on either a tablet or a phone. Oh. We should probably do that too, I right? I looked at Urban Archive on my iPad. I don't know that I've looked at this one yet. So, so. Sometimes the technology makes things actually look different on the Apple devices than it does on the Word, on the Microsoft devices. It's basically identical on the, um, on the iPad to what you're seeing in the screen here. Yeah, my phone is downstairs, so I don't, can't look at it on the phone. I'm trying to look right here. Not sure how to flip the map stuff, but that will Oh, I see. <laughs> Slightly different buttons in the iPad. But of course. Two things. There's a map layers button in the upper right that I don't see on yours, but. Do you want to go back and look at the um, urban archive on the, a phone? Um, I already have. It's um, it's okay. Portrait only. It's okay. It looks similar to what you see on on the web. Okay, then let's go look at history pin. Well, for what it's worth, I can't get this thing to load on my phone. The Main Street Museum one? Yeah. Can you see? Oh, you can't see probably. I see it. No, I see a blank screen. Oh, yeah. There it is. Nothing. Hmm. And I've tried twice. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm a, like, I'm going to be like, never mind. I don't need to look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely. They just lost me. You know what I mean? Um, but yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I'm not going to try. I'm not going to do this a third it. time. This is annoying no. me now. Allison, can you, since you, I'm really sorry, but my phone is not in reach. No, what? Try urbanarchive.org on your phone. Yeah. If, if that works. I mean, in some ways, you know, who even knows what the technology will be like 18 months from now, right? Yeah. Um. Well, it, it, I'm at their homepage, comes right up. Uh, 
It's having trouble loading this on my phone too. This could just be Verizon. I don't know. It's it's being slow to load. Yeah, it well, it's uh, it wants me to um, buy the app for my phone is what it oh. wants me to do. So I'd have to I have to install the app on my phone. That's what it's telling me. You have to buy it. Do you think? Uh, uh, it doesn't say. Uh, I won't go into while you're messing with that. I'll go into my app store on my um, on my iPad and see. Yeah, this Urban Archive is a uh, separate application, which I downloaded. It's only available, it's meant for phones. So, okay, yeah. And it allegedly has a uh, an Android app as well, but it's small on my iPad. I'm, I'm trying to go through, I gotta sign in. Okay, so I'm downloading it on my iPad. So it is apparently free. Okay. Oh, yeah. Is making me pay. Looking at it is free. Anyone can look at it. I've got Newberry up right now. I, I am sitting four feet from our router. So it's, you know. Right. And I'm not. Yeah. And no one else. The city is your museum, continue, continue. This seems to be more. Hmm. Seems to be more select city. Okay, now I'm on select city, okay. Yeah, I picked Newburgh, New York, which looks pretty much identical to the center, free library. A, yeah. Right, but are you getting, can you find those nice drop downs for image and audio and so um, on and so forth? I cannot see how to do that. Not. There's a string of things that was a show. I have found some things, some images, a lovely blue door. Yeah, I'm finding this confusing, but I, I'm not. I am, I'm trying to do this now. <laughs> this is not. There well, is. actually, but it's a good test because if we're trying to make something that someone can use while they're yeah, walking, hang on, I'm, it's downloading to my phone. It's just taking a while here. Yeah. So, okay. so I'm. I've, All right. I'm in. I mean, there seems to be a search function, but I'm not finding that nice drop down of images, posts, audio, you know. Yeah, I haven't found that either. There is a, not least visible, but there is a, um, a speaker icon, but. There is a speaker icon. You are very clever. Not, I, can't find, I don't find the speaker. <laughs> I'm not finding it. It's not available everywhere. I don't. I mean, it is in some places. But it wants to. No, it's not a speaker icon, actually. It's a. All right, I'm into Ogden, Utah. <laughs> it's probably yeah. 114 degrees there. It's almost 114 degrees here. Uh, we walked from our house to the Belden Farm and back right before this call. It's mm. it's really I mean going out there. Um, yeah, I can use this. It's it seems pretty good right here. 
Are you finding that those links to audio and video and whatnot? Uh, it's a different kind of display. It gives me down the bottom. It's got discover. Yes. Collections, my archive. Uh, uh, yes. It does right. open a web page sometimes um, to, yeah, the urban archive.org. Uh, but Oh, it's yeah, it, it's uh, you think it's okay? I do think it's okay. Yeah. That. That it's, got, it's got things that pu the public has added to this, I guess, you know, so that makes it a little clunky, yeah. but yeah. Okay. All right. So back to the Main Street Museum one. Are we ditching that one? Uh, well, if we're going to narrow this down to one, I guess I pick the Urban Archive over the Main. Okay. Is that, yeah. Is that well, we've got this history, yeah. we have this history pin to look at as well. Right. So are you seeing that? Yep. Yeah. That one looks like it's based in Google Maps or Google Earth, and you can find places on it. Attach pictures somehow. That seems to be part of their the history pin. It's funny that you say that, because to me, it looks like it looks like a ransom note to me. It looks like the subway map. The map looks like the subway map. Yeah. Um, which is just, it looks like a ransom note. You mean, because there's too much going on? Too much going on, too yeah. many colors, too many, you know. Whoa. What's that? Oh. I was, I removed the, the later, the overlay image. Whoa. Huh. I'm not sure why that's useful. Um, I don't oh, know. before and after? I don't know. Yeah, that must be the current thing and the historic photo. No? no that's old, yeah. Well, but is that the same building? Well, I don't know. So there's that broken cornice up there. Uh, that is not the same that's cornice. Not the same building. No, it's a mystery. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm annoyed. Now I'm moving on. <laughs> now yeah. it's moving on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't want to spend all day figuring out what I that do. is. I do. I do. Now, what is this? Uh, that just takes us to another place. See, the problem that I'm having with this one is I, I don't know what I'm doing. With the other ones, I could yeah. have some sense of what Much I'm doing. Yeah, this I'm, hitting, I'm hitting arrows and it's doing things, but I don't know why. <laughs> I like the Horace Potter Porter um, illustration. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, there are some links on the map that are part of the program, the history pin. There are other links that are part of the, the Google map or whatever is behind it. You see all those all icons the on there? Who, who's going to bother to figure all that out? You mean these restaurants? Well, you got, you got little letters in circles yeah. you've got little black pins you've got dollar sign icons you've got you know it's it's too it's like code it's a retail map it's banks and restaurants and hotels and right but but you have I any agree. i agree it's the wrong map to use but but all right you've got you've got numbers in circles bigger bigger numbers in circles yeah, there's, there's too much going on. There's too much in there. Okay. Well, that takes us back to Urban Archive and the question yeah. of whether they're going to be willing to take on a town the size of a peanut, right? Well, I don't think it I don't think it's your square miles that that it's the complexity of the image. It's the complexity this will of what handle you want to do. a large complexity but it doesn't have to. Right. You know, I, I did do a seminar with the Western Mass Historical Commission 
last week. I did three presentations. Oh, you did? Work for right. map-based things. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Is I this can how to make your town's history interesting? Yeah. Yep, they're all map-based in different ways. One was based on story, uh, program with story. There's another one that was a WordPress site. Um, there's another query-based story, S-T-Q-R-Y. Um, I can throw this into the chat if you want to have a look. I think it has some links. Okay. Um, me, and and um, did you um, come away thinking that that some of them had potential? Some of them have potential. Some of it. Some of this is my. Uh, oops, I made a spelling What's error in some of this. But the three yeah. towns. Yeah, go ahead. I think I have to stop sharing to find the chat. It's on the bottom. No, I know it's usually on the bottom. I'm not seeing it on the bottom. Okay. So I'm just going to stop sharing for a minute, open your chat, and... Oh, these are existing towns. Orleans, Lenox. Yeah, they're all uh, things that are based on what towns which, are doing. Which one should we look at? The, the one... I don't want to look at things you've already decided are not good. They're all... <laughs> They're all different. Um, well, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Orleans has the most interesting thing, I think. Um, maybe can I share this? I might be able to share this. Hang on. Oh, I, I, I've got it. I've got it. You have it? Okay. Yeah, I just have to figure out how to share it. What the hell? I, I am so sick of this. <laughs> I'm, having, I'm having negative learning. Negative. Why can't I figure out how to do this? Nope. I can't. I can't share it. So. All right. I'm sorry. I am totally sorry, as we say. Here we go. Okay. Now you're. Now you can see it, right? That's the one. Yeah. yeah. Historic Orleans. Oh, you got a different map than I do. Um, because I've been using that wheel. It's that little eye. That's. Yep. Somewhere down on the Cape. I think if you. Hold down the left mouse key, you can scroll it. Or, How's that? Yeah. But you want me to make it? Double click the thing to. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh that's the um, that's the town map that they're trying to use. See, and they the made, their own, on it. made their own map. They're using a map. I think it's based in ESRI, E S R R I. It's a mapping program, a GIS program. This oh, is yeah. one you have to license it, I think. To, yeah, but they, they, they've made this with the insets and the superimposed yep. blue numbers. Yep. And in a lot of these cases, it looks like you have to have, or it helps to have assistance from the, they got an assistance from the COG, which has GIS staff that are available to help them out to make things work. So they get dedicated well, staff, mostly volunteer staff, but they have, all three of them actually have people local people who are making things, finding what to display, and then they're using help from the council of governments or whatever, we'd, we'd use the FERCOG. Um, Which, did FERCOG people say they would help? They might. Um, <laughs> I mean, was it Beth? They, yeah, I think so. Um, okay, so I wouldn't. They're, they're going to publish this thing eventually. I'm not sure that they've done it yet. So that's one of the, the that one is the one that would require a license somewhere along the way, which you can, yeah, but the, you might be able to um, use the COGS uh, version of it. But this map is the only thing that they're actually working on right now. So they've got seven or eight things that are walking this, through the town. They've got all this stuff. Well, they've there's got every parking area and driveway the in there. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there is an, an old, is there, are, there are linked to photographs. If you click on the number, say number two there, I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. It's an historic it of photos and a description of what they have. And I think that may well, be- these are, all those numbers stuff. linked to the historic markers and towns. This must be, yeah. a, this must be the installation. I think so. Location. So they have eight things they have. Oh, I see. This is so. This is a. This is a. Um, 
they built the architecture, but they haven't filled it out yet. Yeah, it's a work in progress, I think. Yeah, it's very ambitious. I mean, oh, yeah. Orleans is not a big town, <laughs> you know, to do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm on a totally different thing. Yeah. Which but they've got old pictures of current buildings or current places. Yeah. It's not working. One or the uh, other. Maybe that they're not set it up yet, right? It's not entirely set up, but yeah, under situation. construction. Oh, that's sad. But yes. I mean, this is this op open to the public, or yeah, this I and mean, I just found this. Um, they haven't um... go to the sites of historic. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Nice. The font is. Well, I think this is just a, a snapshot of a panel that's been installed someplace. That's yeah. what this looks like to me. Yes. This wasn't designed to be on the web. Yeah, they're all the same size. Right. It's a wonderful design, tiny font in italics, yeah. superimposed the over The line me. length is too long. That's, and the letting is wrong. But yeah, anyway. But they, they, they didn't remake the. They didn't remake the this artwork for this use. Right. Yeah, I'm not yet. Recycled. Um, Alan, do you yeah. think you could? Did you get the contact information for the person at Orleans, or you could get it from Beth, maybe? Yeah, it's from the uh, the flyer. Would it be worth just writing to say what platform yeah. did you use? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Esri, which their um, geographic map mapping system, that's what the original map was. And okay. they're tying it to some of these other things eventually. Well, I, I mean, my reaction to this is... But they've had a lot of help from their local council of governments. Yeah, we're not going to have a lot of help from our government. I mean... I don't Alan, think so. Allison and I just lived through help from the fur right? Yeah, they, they might or might not have help available. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what they've got. But I mean, I this think be too much. It's too much. We should we should design a platform that whenever we hit go, we don't have page under construction markers. Because yeah. first of yes. all, you know, the three of us can wander off. Other things will come up. You know, we'll lose interest. You know? Yep. It's, uh, um, okay, so we want to look at another one, right? I think so. Just to look at it, maybe the Linux. Okay, I'm going to go back to the chat. I'm going to hit Linux. I think, let me see what comes up. And I am going to attempt to share the screen. Okay, I think I've mastered this. This is exciting. Um, boy, I can't even begin to describe how much I hate hashtag Linux love. Yeah. Oh, that is not the website. Okay, scroll down. Scroll down a bit. Hashtag Waitly, why? Yeah. <laughs> if you scroll down a bit, you'll find a map. Scroll down and find a map. Okay. Oh, a map. Okay. That one there. It's a, it's a Google map, basically. And... Again, you click on the little red buttons. You'll yes. Let's see what it brings you to. Yeah, just no, that's just, just places. Some of them may have photographs. I think this is another one of those works in progress. Um, yeah, they have two but, spots. Yep, yeah, that's all we got so know. far. Yeah, this is not that useful, I don't think. Tanglewood is in session. They're busy selling tchotchkes. Yep. Yeah. This is actually the town of Lennox doing this. Yeah. Well, historical society. Chamber of Commerce. They're getting help from a bunch of places. Yeah. But it's mostly the historical society. Right. Okay. I'm going to go back again and. Well, what happens in the Lennox? Oh, Lennox. Yeah. Law Matter, rather, is the. Yeah actually has a map that pops up. Okay. Uh, you are not looking at it, are you? Yep. You are looking at it? You, yeah. You can see it? Okay. Um, so, wow, that's quite a map. 
It goes back to the to photo me. archive. What can you let's see? Do you want me to change the size of it? Wow. Holy cow. And oh, wow. Your images. <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that. Ooh. <laughs> so this is uh, ambition. Oh, so they've put a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. Can you share the map? Because I. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. I thought you said I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking at it too. You're looking at it independently? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, but I've got my iPad. They have little. There. there. Okay. There you go. Sorry. Yeah. I, thought you, I thought you said. Well, yeah, I, when that's I, the map they've got, which links to a photo archive, I think. Which they had. Like they've entered for free. every single building for which they yep. have a photo. Yep. A so, photo yeah. or data. But but for each photo, they have a bit of a text. Yeah. I kind of like this one in some ways. Ms. Soon we will lose another magnificent local home to development. Yeah. <laughs> um. Sorry. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I have to go back a couple of pages to there. Yeah, that's the. Yes, uh, yes. I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to get past all the helpful code options. Um, so the so nice. This is based the nice on an old map. So. Yeah. But the structure it looks like is simply pins on a map. Yep. It doesn't really matter what the map looks like for purposes of. Yeah, and a link to an archive. There's a, a group, a Boston Library group, VPL group that scans things to high resolution for free. Um, oh, really? And provides a link. Yeah, they've done a lot of towns. They've done a lot uh, of uh, stuff that's been given to them. I know Derricka Smith took a huge package of photographs from the Historical Society collection to something in Boston. That's yes. the BPL, yeah. I think it's BPL. Um, but, but in terms of content and what they can deal with, it looks like every pin links to a photograph yeah. with an embedded text. It's a double, every, every pin is a double click. Well, actually, I'm wrong. I think it's one click gets you the thing. Uh, but maybe some of them have a double click. Hmm. Maybe, oh, maybe I just happen to. Huh. We did look at one that had a click through. Oh, this is houses it's that don't. Some have more pictures, I think. Um, yeah, that's interesting because um, remember, Alan, a couple of years ago, we we did that inventory of houses on the yeah. on the state cultural register that had been torn down and sent it all to to the historical commission. Yeah. You know, are you looking? You're still looking at Long Meadow, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, what I don't like about this is how overwhelming this is. This has no. I mean, you'd have to be coming at this with a certain point of view and interest for this to engage you. Well, you'd have, have to want to know if there's anything about your house, <laughs> right? Right, I yeah. guess that's, that's why you'd be looking, or your neighbor, you know, yeah. but, but there's so many dots and it, it's so busy and the way they've, the, the the map legend segregates this by century and then by the kind of image they have, which I don't know why that's useful, but. Well, it's about buildings, period. And street views yeah. and other, you know, what's an other here? Well, they had, I oh, clicked on. Field. Which was other, other is a little flag. Yeah, a little red flag. 
Yeah. One sort of in the middle. There's, a, there's another. Oh, shit. Sorry, it's very hard to. I, I guess. I guess it's really a good question to ask ourselves: is who you imagine will be visiting this, and why? I. Uh, our our site. I mean, when we make it, yeah. I understand. We even it, have an audience to find. That's... Well, I, I, that's why I think sort of some kind of entertainment help value would be really useful. If this thing had layers that showed you, uh, you know, Long Meadow before the revolution and yeah. Long Meadow during the Civil War or Long Meadow, you know, who's drunk on Sunday, I don't know. Uh, you know, that would engage you into looking to see what these places are. Otherwise, they're just kind of, unless you're really into Long Meadow and you know this neighborhood, they just like all you know. One old house looks like the other to me, kind of. Right. What do you think? There is that. Who's going to go through all this? Well, and, the, and another interesting thing is that for some reason, although they seem sad, they seem to be wanting to commemorate buildings that have been torn down. It's interesting to me that they haven't coded differently extant buildings and non-existent well, you know. and then what would the map look like if they added twice as many pins to this it's just yeah, yeah. Uh, i mean and this map is a 1920 map i wonder why they're using that maybe there was a flood i think the original reason was that the town split about that time and they had a whole bunch of photographs from that era oh it became east, east, east long, long meadow. meadow and long meadow this is the original town i see I think, I think that was the reason. Hmm. So somehow with that one I happened on that had the link through to the text, I got to this bigger image. Yeah. Don't, you yeah. Love, don't you love how this town, which had everything to do with the Connecticut River, does not include the Connecticut River in their map? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. So if you didn't know, Right. River. You wouldn't even know there was a river. Right. There's a railroad. Yeah. What is all this stuff? It's the flooding, but um, well, it's kind of important help. in the town history here. Anyway. All right. Yeah. I and mean, they're mainly trying to flag the photos, I think, because they had scanned. So they may not have had many other objectives in this particular thing yeah yeah you can hear the meeting well let's just scan these photos and put them on a map okay yep. sounds good yeah yep we have all these photos let's use them somehow right okay which is not bad but no not bad oh well, we can't you know, if... we can't do that because the historical society has so many <laughs> Photographs, you know. Yeah. No, you need to do this by the stories that you can tell about them, not not by yeah. which white clabbered house is still there. Right. I, I mean, it makes. Yeah, I think telling stories is important. And when I we run out of stories, then we can just do random building photos. No, no, I think our approach by entries that we that we think are interesting topics is a fine. I think that's a good approach. Um. So was there anything about the Orleans one that we liked enough that we want to ask Julia to look at it? I no, know. I think we that's oh. the one that had too much going on, right? Yeah. Or was that I mean, one? I guess I guess we want we want to be able to control the graphic presentation of the call out information. That's what that tells me. Right. And, and customize it for. Sorry, are you still talking or did you stop? No, it? no, no, I, it's something <laughs> fell. Um, I customize it for looking at online. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, on different devices. So I guess then I should stop screen sharing. Um, I guess- Excuse me, just for one second. Sure. 
Was the meeting well attended, Alan? Uh, 30, 35 people. Yeah, it wasn't bad. A lot of people left early because they had other things to do, but it was. Uh... Yeah, but people, I mean, people aren't used to planning to actually go someplace for a meeting. So I think that's yeah. good. So this, I would, I conclude that the fact that we, I'm looking at my notes, sorry. The fact that we like the urbanarchive.org website is really predicated on the fact that we like a clean, legible graphic presentation. And, yeah. and, and you were instantly able to figure out how to kind of use it and get something out of it. Right, and I, and I thought, you know, in terms of organizing a p material that letting people choose to look at video and audio and whatever the other thing was, you know, blog posts. Smell, smell. Yeah. yeah. Not gonna have was <laughs> good. Um, because am I right that one option is to just do that ourselves, you know, use your map, Allison, and then use something like Google Maps to apply links to it, or, or can we only, do we have to use a Google map in order to use the Google pin structure? I don't know the answer, but no. my instinct is you got to use the Google map to put the Google pin in. Yeah, pins are a pretty common technique in mapping things, so. Well, because it's easy. Google. Yeah. yeah, it's easy and people don't want to get involved in the art project of doing something else but it's also not the most tasteful presentation. I mean, part of what I see in here are colors and, you know, I think we can, mm -hmm. if we have control over that, we can make this more appealing than a Google map is. So is one of our questions to Juliet, if we wanted to do it ourselves, how would we do that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why that's why her experience with doing the main map and the, whatever else she's done is important because, you know, she was given for that main mapping thing. She had to work with the historic base layer, which is just a map, a piece of map art, which would be the same as our map art. And then, you know, she worked with putting the pins on top of that. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that Google had anything to do with it, but. Okay. So I think I can convey that. Um, I believe I can convey that. You know, if it turns out it's too complicated to create our own artwork and blah, 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 and Google is the cheapest, easiest way to go, that wouldn't be the end of the world. But I, I feel like some of the impact you might have and some of the appeal would be lost. Yeah, and if, if somebody wants to spend the time to learn Google Earth or Google Maps or something like that, it, it might be possible to make it look a lot better than it does, uh, than it does with the, the average thing. I don't know. Um, Earth, from the things that I gathered at the meeting, it sounds like Google Earth has the possibility to do some things that Google Maps does not. It seems to be better able to deal with videos and timelines and things like that, but... Uh, the actual imagery may not change all that much. Huh. Right, but are we having videos and timelines? I have not. I don't I know. I don't I know. I so far, no. So far, about. But we might if we add maps, and and Google does have years of maps that um, that can be added to it or that are built into it. Google Earth does. I'm not sure about maps. It might. So S3. This is, this is in the kind of, um, we've had this conversation before. S3 is also something called ARC GIS Story Maps. Yeah, it's a similar program. Well, I think S3 is the parent organization and the that story. That might be, I'm sure. I, mean, I, I Googled S3.com and have been taken to- You get the GIS, okay. And I think you you need licenses, but the cog may have the licenses and yes. may assist in learning how to use it. And then you can take the stuff that's built in S3 or RGIS and move it to your own website. 
right. to so, do something so with it. It's a license. It's an, unfortunately not a one-time fee. It's an annual. Yeah. You can use the maps for $100 a year. You can create maps and apps with your data for $500 a year. Mm. And you can map, visualize, analyze, and manage data for $700 a year. Yeah. Um, the costs to uh, or nonprofits, I think, are less. But, well, that, you, I'm not sure they, they may be less. I'm not sure. Um, so is it worth... When they say analyzing data, they mean, you know, to find if, if you were historic uh, Boston or something, you, you might want to find out that 98% of your pe people want to know where Faneuil Hall is. Is that the kind of thing? Yeah, so I think so. In I'm August. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm just looking for to see what they mean. I, I don't know. It's a list of, you know, 27 sub apps. Yeah, okay. Uh, Okay, so I think we should ask Juliet if she knows anything about ARC GIS and ask FERCOG if they have a license. Yeah. She would have access. No, the Eastern Mass ones do. I'm not sure about the, the local ones or how long the, they're likely to keep licensing it because it does cost every year. Right. Juliet may have some reference to that with working with yeah. PBMA. She may know about Fort Cog and, you know, and at, she's done stuff yeah. in Asheville too. Right. Okay. All right. So let's ask Juliet. I mean, by yeah. let's, I mean, I will. Okay. <laughs> I mean, well, um, before we go into the morass of figuring out who at Fort Cog, how many staff yeah. people are there at Fort Cog? It seems like. Yeah, how many people are we paying for? Endless, but yeah. <laughs> I'd say about five, I think. Um, I think which, many people have multiple hats. So yes, yes. Um, okay. All right, I think I'm good with that. I mean, for huh. about good with conveying that. Um, do we, so she asked that um, I send the notes that we'd already done on, um, you know, the two pages we blocked out or the two entries we blocked out. So Alan, if I can't find yours again, did you send an updated one of yours of the? Uh, there's a new link for Google Maps. Is that for, the for your boundaries project? Yeah. Would you mind a, just, just you, don't even have, you don't have to do it right now, but sometime today, could you just send me whatever you want me to send her for what your latest work is? Because I, okay. I got a little, uh, lost a moment ago in version control. <laughs> yeah, that's... I need what we used to call yeah. it. It's sort of assistant. <laughs> do that. Um, and Alan, I have completely lost your list of five possible entries. I, I mean, I only had two or three, so... Two or three. <laughs> well, I, I have whatever you, whatever you said, I have lost. Okay, I can, sure I can I say that again. I it again, but I have not found it. Okay. It was, it was some email or other. It's, it's in an gone. email. It's in an email, yeah. yeah. Um, and Allison, have you thought at all about what you might want to do in terms of entries? Uh... I, I've given it a little bit of thought and I guess it brings us back to this sort of how we're presenting the stories. Right. Um, you know, talking to Derricka made me, you know how it is when you talk to Derricka, you start off on, on whatever the topic is and then she, she like, she, she, she's she eager. To, off. Well, no, she's eager to tell you about the latest tidbit of something that she discovered when she was looking at these records or that yeah. will or something. It's some three sentence story about an oddball thing, you know, something remarkable or something mysterious or, right. you know, and, and it made me think that, that we could have, a you know, if we're still thinking about layers for this hidden history, we could have these little mini mystery kind of layers that aren't necessarily connected by obvious 
things, but that are just kind of um, not enough to make, you know, a, a whole article about, not enough to make a whole lecture about, but that are just kind of interesting, quirky little tidbits around mm -hmm. town that don't fit the categories that we could collect those and, and map them. Mm -hmm. You know, she likes to tell the story about the house that, you know, in the will was divided down the center hallway, you know, those kind of yeah. stories. Yes. Her, um, her, it would, were either of you at the talk she gave about her research on wills? Yeah. She, she gave it in the basement of the church, I remember. Yep. Yep. And I thought, you know, the other, to me, Derek's greatest strength is also a weakness of the town's information retention because when she does a project, she just gets it done and then she's, well, she's moving on, <laughs> you know? And I heard that talk and thought, wait, there's a lot of interesting things that a scholar, could, uh, if someone who really wanted to do research, yeah. make something of, like one of the things I remember, and I don't remember the details, but I remember taking away the fact that women's wills were, were actually quite different in character than men's wills. Mm -hmm. and that was interesting and would be worth, you know, somebody who wanted to do some, uh, work on some context could make something of. Um, but I, I'd forgotten about the house divided in half. I mean, she also likes funny stories. She likes funny well, stories. That's, that's what I, this is what I mean about sort of the entertainment value. Right, right, right. But, but also things that might, might pique your interest. Like you heard that divided down the hallway story that made you think, I could write a PhD about women's wills. Right, right, right. right. You know, so it could lead you to a bigger inquiry, or it could just be like a Ripley's Believe It or Not, it entertains you for that one second, and then you move on. But you're yeah. left with the impression that, History has is interesting, and if funny things happen, you know, and it makes it makes you curious. Right. right. Yeah. So, so, so. Talk of for hidden histories, which is what the whole project is. So. Right. right, right. The name, which I don't know who came up with the name. I think it may have been you, Ellen. It, the name has the value of being, you know, kind of widely encompassing, right? With Judy, but yeah. Yes. I was reminded too of. Um, the UFO sightings here in town in the 60s. Are you aware of that? No. See, there you go. Okay. So there's a pin on the map. Okay, but you can, you can have that one. <laughs> did, did well, I, I have not heard about that. Did I hear well, you see the photograph of the Waitley Town Crier in the Hampshire Gazette the other day? I don't know that. Oh, yeah, from the... Uh, so you know the way the Gazette has ten years ago, fifty years ago. Oh yes, yes. Oh, it's a photograph. Do you know who that is? It's probably some sure. somebody we know or knew fifty years ago. So wasn't Fred. It's a man dressed up as a town crier, you know, in colonial outfit. Oh yeah, yeah. Standing next to the Stock Age Stone, and it's just you know the guy who writes that column went into their photograph archive and said, you know, yep. this was the beginning of the tour of important sites in Waitley. And over oh, three really? People tromped around. Now I'm sure, you know, we'll show that to Adelia and just say, oh, that was Fred. You know? yeah. <laughs> so, or, or somebody, Adam, yeah. Or Neil, you know? Yeah, who knows, yeah. It's... Or Bob Duda, it was somebody, you know, yeah. whoever knew. Um, but it was- I'll have to ask her. Yeah. Um, so as far as, as thinking about sites, I, I hadn't thought about it anymore, except um, to kind of keep it in my head. I, and I, I haven't really defined it. I didn't know you wanted me actually to seriously consider creating for this. Well, I'm happy to. I, I hope that you will, because otherwise we're going to have a very narrow site. <laughs> I mean, we should be trying sure. to recruit more people to work on this. Yep. And I am hopeful that when we figured out the structure and gotten started it will actually be possible to do that right uh, like to grow we need to start we need to figure we need out to start, but i and i and i do think that to keep it timely that 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 the, this layering subject system should should be something that can 
be refreshed and, and be appealing to the public. You know, I, I think we mentioned that the anniversary of the Revolutionary War coming up. Yeah. We have that 350th anniversary of the signing of the deed. You know, did, I'm not, did you send that to Alan? I'm not sure you did. No, I no. think that was really cool. Go ahead. But, uh, October 19th. 1672 was the signing of the deed to the land that now is most of what Whaley is um, by Quan Quan's widow. So there's this whole in Indian deed business that could that ought to be discussed because I think that there's when you mention that to anybody there's a certain monolithic perspective that people have. Oh. That's how we got the land, you know, but there is another side to that story that would be really interesting. And we yeah. were, you know, right next near Alice Nash, who was made a specialty of interpreting Indian deeds. And it would be fascinating to explore. Well, that would be. And, and was it signed at the site of the farm? Do you know where it was signed? No, no, no. I mean, this farm wasn't called Quanquant until 1921. Right, I knew that, but, you, no. but where, where no, no. was the deed? I don't know. It doesn't, I, as far as I know, I don't know where that happened. Huh. Huh. Don't know. That's a good, that's a good question. Because yeah, I think we have the shortcoming that whatever structure we use, the entries need to be linked to a place. <laughs> you know? No, no, no. Well, right. Well, yeah. we could, we could, we could show that the, the there's a description of the, territory you know which is a little vague um and you can show how that was a part of hatfield then yeah. you know it was the northern part of hatfield and we might assume that quonk widow was still living over in north hadley you know in that site so you could place some things on the map i don't know do but it is, it is a ge geographic story in that this is geography yeah. that was being transferred right. from one group to another right Right. Yeah, I think that's interesting. Um, okay. Uh, so, so I will definitely think about entries and how that might be done. Okay. Yeah. So, um, we should propose some times to meet with. Uh, what, is name? So what is our person's name? Juliet. Juliet. Um, yeah. Uh, so Allison, this mid late morning continues to be the best option for you, right? Is that true? Yeah, or early afternoon, that's fine. Usually the late afternoon is a problem. Okay, okay. Um, I am open in that window on the 8th. Um, if you are. Yeah. And the 13th and the 15th and the 16th. Those are all possibilities for so me. Is, yeah, late morning, early afternoon should be fine too. Like 11 or 1. Okay. <laughs> Other no. meetings in the evening, but not. There. Right, right, right. So the 8th is fine with me. What'd you say, the 15th? The 13th, 15th, or 16th. Any of those, I have nothing written down. Okay, yes. so I will write to Juliet promptly and we'll nail okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Out then I will okay. My notes. That's good. Um, so really, the only one of the three sites we are vaguely interested in is Urban Archive. Just to go back to our original, I think. That's yeah. style, I think. Yeah, I kind of like yeah. that. Well, I think, you know, if you tell her what you're interested in, why, why that's appealing, I think that'll be really helpful, you know, right. a helpful right. reference to her. And maybe that'll make her think, well, if you like that one, I should show you this other thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and I don't think we need, the three of us need to meet again before we meet with Juliet. Do you, but I will, if you do. No. Okay. <laughs> but if any of you force me to meet again on Zoom. Um, Okay, good. I'll do that then. Okay. Awesome. Good job. Okay. I'll send Bye. stuff off to you. We'll be set. Okay. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye.